Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'd like to introduce you to Tape Audio Company and their brand new release simply titled One. And this is a fuzz box, but it's a bit more than that. As you could tell, it's got some really cool sliders and some compression is involved, which isn't the uh, average controls you have for a fuzz. So let's get into it. One starts with a pair of Fairchild silicon transistors and forges a new path outside of the typical muff or fuzz face circuit. Tape Audio equips this simple yet elegant pedal with two primary controls, a master volume with plenty of output, and compression, which navigates a diode clipping circuit to not only clamp down on the fuzz and feel of the pedal, but to change the harmonic overtones and decay of the effect. Plus, the horizontal sliders give the player a very tactile experience and helps locate all kinds of sweet spots. The rocker switch selects between dark or light EQ settings, which not only affects the overall tone, but the feel since the shift is located at the input section of the circuit. Last but not least, an internal bias trimmer helps fine tune the sag and output of the transistors, turning this seemingly simple fuzz into an endless smorgasbord of saturated sounds. Tape Audio Co. has filled one with high quality NOS components, including the transistors, caps, and diodes. For more info on this fresh company, check out tapeaudio.com. So as you can tell, it's a very thick fuzz tone and you have a lot of control over the sort of note bloom and the thickness of it with that comp slider. And even all the way to the left, uh, it still doesn't really you know, kill the notes. You get a little bit of that gated effect as it carries out, but still you know, plenty of sustain and uh, decay just to kind of give it a ragged sound. Now let's switch over to the light uh, tone selection, which really changes uh, you know, not only the sound, but to me, it, it kind of feels a little bit different too in the low end.
sticking with that light mode, which really seems to uh, carve out the low end and just tighten things up. Let's try some P90s, and I want to play around with some output volume to really push the amp into overdrive, and uh, I'm going to have a little bit less compression in this setting, so the amp's going to be working a lot harder. Of course, when I see a bias trim pot inside, I just have to touch it because it really unlocks a whole new world of tones, especially with the uh, one pedal here because you have a wide range of compression with that slider. So the bias trim has been kind of back in the squishier sounds throughout the whole demo. So let's increase that. And then we could still, you know, really clamp down on the sound if we want to by increasing the compression because it has, uh, you know, clipping diodes involved. Well, that is one from Tape Audio Company. Really versatile, uh, not only fuzz, but kind of a, just a general saturation box in one and a very cool aesthetic to go with it. And you can find out more information at tapeaudio.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another Andy demo.